one fruit of the ground, farmer, one a lamb. And he says that God had no respect for the offering of Cain, but God had respect for the offering of Abel. And so we go back, well, because of the blood. And certainly the offering of Abel must have been very dramatic. You know, sheep sort of identify with humans. Sheep are so dependent as animals. And you can see one of the finest, the finest of the flock, Abel have gotten that little lamb and the lamb with the liquid eyes and the warmth and suddenly he took a knife and cut its throat and the blood was shed. And this offering was centered on the lamb and the quality of the offering of Abel. That's so important. And God received that offering. But here's the offering of Cain. It said God rejected. God did not respect that offering. Now, what was going on here? It follows up, it says, what Cain did when he understood God did not respect, did not accept his offering, is that Cain got angry, he got mad, and his countenance fell. He went into deep depression. Now, I have battled with that through a zillion commentaries, and none of them have given me a sensible answer. But finally, I believe, under God, I've got it. I couldn't figure out why in the world Cain, God says, I do not respect your offering, became so angry and went into depression. Now, as a metaphor, you could say that Abel's offering, smoke came up from it, and the smoke was a sweet flavor to the Lord, and, and Cain's offering, the smoke went down and had a stench to it, and that's all speculation. It's good preaching. It's just not good exegesis. Why did Cain get so mad? Let me tell you why. It's what his heart and his hands and his life said about the offering he gave. I think Cain's offering was a big offering. I think he had watermelons. I think he had plums. I think he had flowers. He had daisies. He had pears. He had all kinds of fruit and vegetables. And I think he spread that offering out on the altar. And I think... Everybody watched that. Woo, man, what a beautiful, magnificent, showy, grandiose offering that Cain is giving as he is a man of the field. Okay? So when God rejected this, I think, elaborate offering, when God rejected that, Cain was angry, depressed. Why? What was behind the offering? I think Cain was trying to say to mom and dad, Adam and Eve, I have conquered the ground that was cursed because of your sin, and by the sweat of my brow, by weeding and harvesting and planting and plowing and patience of seasons and by my hard hands and my calloused hand I have worked and worked and worked and worked and look what I've done I have defeated the ground that was cursed by your sin look at it mom and dad look at what I have produced also I think he was saying Look at my puny little brother what he's done he's killed that helpless little lamb there and all the blood and all the mess Man, I'm so superior to him. Don't you see it? And I think maybe the bottom of this was Cain expected God to say, that's my boy. I'm so proud of you. Look at this elaborate offering from all that you have done. But God rejected it out of hand. No, no, no. I won't receive this. That, I believe, is the reason Cain got mad and went into depression. 